Howdy everyone, Wrath of the Lich King was the peak of World of Warcraft's popularity, and the effort Blizzard put into building Northrun clearly shows the passion of these developers. But in the years since Wrath, the number of players coming through Northrend has dwindled to critical numbers. So today, I'd love to highlight some of the really awesome areas I found in the world while I was doing my lore master travels. I'm gonna kick it off with some elf stuff down in Borean Tundra. The Riplash ruins are in the south of Borean Tundra and they are a massive set of elven ruins. And I mean like they are really, really big for being just a little area that's mostly unused other than a couple quests. They were likely once a temple of Elun, but now have been turned into a temple dedicated to Ashara. I know as an alliance player, we only have like one quest that takes us somewhat near the entire structure. So actually taking the time to fly through it and see the back of it and see all the little areas in it, it's really, really big for something that's barely used. It's a nice treat. Even underwater, there is a ton of cool stuff going on down here. So if you're a horde and you know that this area has more quests than just the couple that Alliance has, please let me know. I'd love to check this area out. And along the lines of elves is Crystal Song Forest, which is also heavily influenced by elves. I hope to make a video in the future about this zone, but just know that this zone is absolutely gorgeous and it's worth flying through and just kind of looking at if you haven't in a while. It's really nice. While we're in the area though, let's take a look at some Titan stuff. The Path of the Titans runs from Dragonblight up to Ulduar. It starts from the South Ocean of Dragonblight, and we do know there is a portion of it on the Strand of the Ancient Battleground map as well, but it comes up from the ocean on the continent, and it runs through Wormrest Temple, where it then snakes through the rest of Dragonblight to Crystal Song Forest. From here, you can see it become a bridge that would have went straight across the zone, but that bridge is no longer here, whether it's crumbled or it was exploded, it's gone now. It does pick up again in Storm Peaks though, where it heads up a mountain, runs through it, and continues running through the zone until it hits the end point at Ulduar. Speaking of Titan stuff in Storm Peaks, there are also these huge mountains in Storm Peaks that have the little temples on top. And in the side of these is a really custom neat cave that only exists a few times in the zone, but otherwise it's just unused elsewhere. They could have just used a generic Titan cave that they use all over the place, but they made something special for these. And seeing as you only go into these one single time for a quest, I think it's really, really neat that these are so custom. And just as a general note, take a flight through Ulduar sometimes as well and look at the structures all around it. It's really awesome. Shalzar is also home to another couple really cool Titan structures on its east and west sides. On the east side is mostly a vault of Archivon copy, but it's got this bridge in the middle of it that some of the Titan caves do use. And I really appreciate it because it makes these areas feel really massive under the mountains. The one on the east side of the zone though is awesome. When you head in there, it's underwater, so you have giant windows that show the ocean in front of you and stuff. It's really cool. And I wanted to see if these windows were visible from the outside as well. I doubted they were, but I flew around and I swam down, and they are not. But while I was down there, I saw kind of how the fall off of the fatigue line is underwater. And that's also really neatly detailed. It's not just a fall off. It's got these jutting rocks and stuff. It's really cool. But enough about Titans. Let's talk about some troll stuff. First, and this is something I touched on in my walrus turtle video as well. Just look at Zul'drak. Like the entire zone is just one massive fortified structure. And I just think it's such a small, neat touch to show how powerful the trolls once were and how far they've fallen. The zone also has these massive aqueducts running across it. What's really cool about these is they actually run from the upper city down to what would have been the fields of crops that they would have used to sustain themselves. It's really cool and a really nice little feature that's actually pretty realistic. There's also what appears to be a one-of-a-kind cave in Grizzly Hills in this troll crypt. And I love caves that are just one-of-a-kind. And while maybe this is used somewhere else, I'm not aware of it. Compared to today, where they use the same four cave layouts for everything, it's really nice to find these little details. Now, I will say, I understand the importance of reusable assets in creating a game or anything, really. But it's nice to see these little TLC things that they were able to put in during the Wrath days. Another cool troll thing in Northrend is Gundrak itself. Not the dungeon, but the massive building sitting on the surface. It's really big, it has tons of details on it, and it looks really cool, but you never really have to come up here. Even when you do, you're just at the summoning stone and running into the dungeon. 
Over in Ice Crown though, we have the whole under ICC. And while this is part of a quest chain and it's not a top secret thing, it's got some neat stuff in there, and it is just a copy of Azjol Nurub when you fall down the spider hole, which isn't really anything too special. But watch this. I jumped down there with a goblin glider and revealed that these big structures don't have walls. Your secret has been discovered, Blizzard. But while Ice Crown is an awesome looking zone and I really do love it, I didn't uncover too much other stuff that really stuck out to me. It's time for the meme zone though, Grizzly Hills. And while it's normally on brand for me to poop on Grizzly Hills, this time I have to give it props. Grizzle Mall in the middle of the zone where the world tree once stood is actually really, really awesome. Like, I don't know if these assets are used anywhere else or not, but it's just so detailed and it's so big and it's got this little sneaky cavern in it. And despite looking like this massive city that would be really important in the zone, it only has a handful of quests that actually require you to go there. Otherwise, it just kind of exists in the world. And that's the case for a lot of things in Northrend, is they just exist in the world. They have a couple quests, but they are way bigger than the quests that they handle. But finally, let's finish off with some Vrykul stuff that I really liked. The crypt underneath Utgard Keep was certainly something I found neat when I first started working on Loremaster. It does use a cave template that's used several other times, including in Utgard Pinnacle itself. But it is really expansive for what amounts to just a couple quests underground. And it's a really cool intro to the zone. I knew I picked the right place to start in 2008 when I played Wrath originally. But the creme de la crop is up in the north part of the zone, in Gjallarbron. This area is undead and right cool mixed together, and it doesn't look too crazy on the outside. But there's a crypt down there that I think is awesome. You only really have to go down here for one quest, at least for Alliance. But the chambers in here and the hallways are all really just one of a kind. I have not seen something like this in other areas for the most part. You have these large circular chambers at the ends of the hallways where you can look down and see layers and layers of NPCs also doing stuff on those layers. You look up and you can see the sky above you. And the actual rooms connecting to these big circular chambers are using a design that I haven't really seen before. And this area is really big too, like you walk into the crypt, it splits, it splits again, it's got the big chambers and everything. And for just an area where there's just one quest that happens at the end of a zone that most players have already finished with and moved on from, it had a lot of love. This is a thing I saw when I was doing Loremaster that I knew I had to do some kind of video like this because this poor crypt just lives here now. No one comes here, I wanted to experience some love. And Northrend is packed with a lot of other small things that I found along the way as well, but I didn't include them here. So if you know something about Northrend that you love, drop it in the comments so we can all go check it out. And while this is a deviation from my normal degeneracy, I'd love to do more stuff like this. So let me know if you like it by dropping a like and subscribing if you aren't subscribed. Thank you all for watching. I love y'all and I will see you in the next video.